Hey, I'm Adam Jusko from ProudMoney.com and in this video we're going to look at the best credit union credit cards. Before we do, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already. And if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So we're going to do a top 10 of the uh, best credit cards that come from credit unions. And then at the end there will be a bonus card that uh, is a really good card, but we put it at the end because the first 10 cards are all going to come from credit unions where you can probably gain membership fairly easily even if you don't fit their normal eligibility requirements. All of them are going to have some sort of backdoor, at least most of them are going to have a backdoor or a very large umbrella of people that fit under four membership, where the last one has very narrow eligibility requirements, even though it is a darn good credit card. So credit union credit cards uh, oftentimes are not as good as sort of the big bank credit cards. But if you are willing to pick through the many credit unions out there, some of them are really, really good. And so that's what we're going to do in this video. All right, let's start things off with the Affinity Federal Credit Union Cash Rewards Visa because it has all sorts of good things going on. No annual fee, 5% cash back at Amazon, 5% back on other bookstores as well, 2% back in categories like gas, supermarkets, restaurants, Netflix, Spotify, Uber, and uh, sort of related services in the streaming and ride sharing uh, genre, 1% back everywhere else. However, there also are some other bonuses going on. You've got a $200 bonus potentially for or new card holders. If you spend $3,000 in the first uh, three months of having the card, if you spend $25,000 in a year, you will get 25,000 bonus points, which you could think of as being worth $250, which is essentially adding like 1% back on all of your purchases. In addition, there is a program called High Five, which uh, Affinity really doesn't market on its website. So it's sort of like something they used to market and everyone thought it went away but it appears that it is still going on. And that is that there's a 5% rotating category each calendar quarter on top of all the things that I've talked about. For example, fourth quarter of 2022, it is gas and supermarkets where you could get 5%. So you can get an awful lot out of this card. Maybe Affinity Federal Credit Union doesn't talk about the high five program anymore because they don't want too many people coming to the credit union just for that credit card. I am not sure, but all kinds of good stuff going on there. Number two on the list of card we talk about often on this channel, it's the Navy Federal Credit Union More Rewards American Express card. No annual fee, three points per dollar or 3% cash back on the big three categories as far as I'm concerned, those being supermarkets, restaurants, and gas and transit. So you get 3% on all of those, you get 1% back on any other purchases with the card. There's a $200 bonus opportunity for new card holders as I make this video. If you spend at least $2,000 in the first 90 days of having the card, no foreign transactions, fees. This is a very good card. Now to get into Navy Federal Credit Union, you have to have some sort of military or maybe Department of Defense relationship, either being in the military, either current or former yourself, or being related to someone that is there isn't an easy back door into Navy Federal Credit Union, but for a lot of people, they find that they can find someone that has membership or is uh, eligible for membership and they get in that way. So there's still a pretty big umbrella here. Lots of people love Navy Federal. Number three, the Alliant Federal Credit Union Visa Signature Card. No annual fee, you get 2.5% cash back on all of your purchases with this card unless by chance you spend over $10,000 in a billing cycle beyond $10,000, you would get 1.5% cash back. That's per billing cycle, not per year. So for most people, you're not going to get anywhere near that cap. Now, in order to get that 2.5%, you do have to have an Alliant high rate checking account that has at least $1,000 in it. The average daily balance has to be $1,000 and you have to have at least one electronic deposit coming into the account each month. So you do have a stipulation here. If you want that 2.5%, you're going to have to keep some other money with Alliant. If that's okay with you, a very, very nice Nice cash back rate. Number four, the Abound Credit Union Visa Platinum. No annual fee. You get 5% back on your gas purchases. You get 5% back in a category or categories that are rotating each calendar quarter, like some of the other cards that we have talked about in other cards on the market for the fourth quarter of 2022. That 5% category is Amazon. And then anything else you're going to get 1% back on with this card. Now, there is a cap on those 5% categories where 
if you have earned $100 in a billing cycle in rewards, beyond that, you would get 1% back on all of your purchases. Now, uh, $100 in rewards, if you thought of it as only 5% categories, it would take you $2,000 of spending in those categories during the billing cycle to hit that. So for a lot of people, you're probably not gonna hit that, you're probably not gonna have to worry about it, and you can enjoy the 5% in those categories. Number five is the US Alliance Credit Union Visa Signature Card. Now this card would be higher on the list except I have sort of trust issues with this card. It is a no annual fee card and as I make this video it is giving three points per dollar or 3% on all of your purchases but also 6% on grocery store purchases. However, that 3% is slated to end as I make this video on December 31st of 2022. Now, every time I look at this card, they kind of show the offer with an expiration date and the expiration date is always different. So I don't know if they keep giving sort of an upfront bonus percentage and then it goes down to something else or what they're doing with this card. So I don't totally trust it, but the 3% as I make this video is good through the end of December, 2022. The 6% on groceries is actually good according to their website through the end of 2023. So even if you don't continue to get 3% on other things, you also have 6% on groceries that is going to be good at least through the end of 2023. So if this stuff sticks, then this would be a very good card for the long term, but if it is all just like, you know, messing with you to give you stuff, give you this stuff in the short term, and then it goes down to something really terrible, well then it's not quite as good, which is why I plunk it in the middle of this list. Number six, the Langley Federal Credit Union Signature Cashback Visa, no annual fee. You get 5% cash back each month in a category of your choosing. They give you the categories to choose from. As I make this video, I am seeing dining, gas, or home improvement as your choices for the month on an everyday basis. Beyond that 5%, you're always gonna get 3% uh, back on gas, 2% back on grocery and wholesale club purchases, 1% back on everything else. There's a nominal bonus on this card. As I make this video, you can get a $50 statement credit if you spend $1,000 with the card in the first uh, three months of having it, but overall a pretty nice package. Number seven on the list, the Nusenda, and I think that's how you say it, Nusenda Credit Union Platinum Cash Rewards Card. This is a 5% rotating uh, cashback card like some of the other ones we've talked about and things like the Chase Freedom Flex and the Discover It card. You're getting 5% cash back on purchases in certain categories that change each calendar quarter. For example, in the fourth quarter of 2022, you're getting that 5% back on retail store purchases, on online retail purchases, and on restaurants. There is a $1,500 spending cap in those 5% categories for the quarter. So if you spend beyond $1,500 in those 5% categories, all your purchases are only going to get you the 1% that all other purchases with this card would get you. Number eight, the Signature Federal Credit Union Visa Signature Card is a no annual fee card that gives you 2% cash back on all of your purchases with the card, except streaming services, you're actually going to get 6% cash back on. Now there is a uh, spending cap on those streaming services in terms of getting these 6%, you would get up to $10 in rewards at that 6% rate per month and then beyond that, I believe you go back down to the 2% rate that you would for any other purchases. If you can't quickly do the math, that means if you're spending around $165 worth of streaming services per month, all of that would still get to you at that 6% rate. If you were going beyond $165, that's when you would go down to the lower rate. Number nine, back to Navy Federal Credit Union and the flagship rewards card. This one has a $49 annual fee. You're gonna get three points per dollar on travel purchases, two points per dollar on all other purchases, with the card, you can think of those points as being worth at least a penny per point in most redemption scenarios. There is a bonus opportunity as I make this video of 35,000 points, which should be at least $350 of value plus a year of Amazon Prime. If you spend at least $4,000 with the card in the first three months of having it, this card does have a credit toward global entry or a TSA pre-check if you use the card to pay for those programs that help you get through the airport quicker. Number 10, the PenFed or Pentagon Federal Credit Union Pathfinder Rewards Card. Now, this is a card that 
sort of has some strings attached as far as I'm concerned when I'm looking at the value. The first string is that in order to get good value out of it, you would want to be or need to be an Honors Advantage member of PenFed, which means you are either current or former military, or you have a PenFed checking account in addition to having this credit card. Because if you aren't an Honors Advantage member, you are going to have a $95 annual fee that isn't really worth it in my opinion, and you're going to get a little bit less in reward. So let's assume you're an Honors Advantage member. In that case, you're going to get four points per dollar on travel purchases, 1.5 points per dollar on all other purchases, and then you have a fairly big bonus opportunity on this card, and then you have some uh, credits, including an airline credit for incidentals each year, and then you have a credit for global entry or TSA pre-check on this as well. So there are some good things going on with this card, but the other sort of string attached in a way is when you look at the points you're getting, oftentimes we might just do a quick calculation in our head and say that four points per dollar equals 4% on those purchases, but really your points with this card in most instances are going to be worth a little less than a penny per point, and you can't cash them out. So you're going to be using them for either travel or gift cards or merchandise. So it's not sort of an easy calculation in your head to know exactly how much value you're getting because four points per dollar, you would normally think of as 4%. Maybe it's like, I don't know, three to three and a half percent, 1.5 points per dollar on all the other purchases. You might be thinking of that as like one to 1.2 percent if you are doing a calculation that way because the points aren't worth quite as much. But you also have some nice credits on the card as well. And if you're an Honors Advantage member, it ends up being a no annual fee card. So a good card, but it all depends on how you look at it. So those are the top 10, but I did promise a plus one, and that plus one is the Aerospace Federal Credit Union Platinum uh, Cash Back Card, or there is a points card. We'll use the Cash Back Card just to give you the highlights. 5% back on gas purchases, 4% back on dining and entertainment, 3% on travel, 2% on everything else on the card. Pretty nice. And if you have the points card, you can even get a bonus of 5,000 points when you use the card for the first time. However, the eligibility, very narrow. You have to be someone that works for the Aerospace Corporation or a government worker who is on the uh, Los Angeles Air Force Base or someone that is related to someone that falls into those buckets. So not everyone can get their hands on this one, obviously, but if you have the opportunity, you definitely are going to want to get your hands on it. That is it for this video. So you get a top 10 and a plus one. If you know of a credit union credit card that I missed, I would love to hear about it in the comments section below. Otherwise, I thank you for watching. And as always, please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews, we talk personal finance, we talk deals and all sorts of other fun stuff too. If you're not going to uh, go to the website or you're not gonna leave a comment below, maybe you'll wanna watch this video next.